definitely cool, it's definitely breezy, but it's also definitely sunny. We like using this satellite view, even though it doesn't have that kind of real look to the land, because it really makes the clouds stand out, and they are far away from central North Carolina, either way out over the Atlantic or off to our west and northwest in the mountains. And we're seeing a little bit of snow in the mountains as well from that visible satellite perspective, actually taking pictures of it, but severe clear over central North Carolina. Here's what it has looked like so far today from RDU. Started off with clear skies overhead. We've seen hardly a cloud in the sky. Every once in a while, a couple will float through, but that's been it. Nothing to blot out the sunshine, but despite full sunshine, our temperatures have not warmed up very much at all. It's 44 at RDU right now with a wind chill of 37 degrees. I'm not sure what happened to the camera view there or here. What's going on? Come on. 46 degrees, the temperature in Smithfield. There it is. Worth waiting for. 48 degrees right now in Sampson County. Same wind chill, 37 degrees. So it's that apparent temperature, what it really feels like that matters most on these breezy, cool days. 44 Raleigh and Durham, 46 degrees Chapel Hill, 48 degrees in Garner. Pan farther south, and you're a little closer to 50 degrees, even up above 50 degrees right now in Grays Creek. 49 in Fayetteville and on Fort Bragg. But what it really feels like is mostly in the 30s across the board. 37 Raleigh, oh, Fayetteville. You just improved to 43. Same thing in Clinton. But we're talking about freezing wind chills still in Henderson. And it's going to be breezy for the rest of the afternoon. The wind is going to relax tonight, but that means our temperatures are going to drop off quickly with dry air and no wind and no cloud cover overhead. There's nothing to hold any warmth in your ground level. Not that we're building up a whole lot to begin with. Our temperatures only top out in the upper 40s, low 50s, more common south of the triangle. And then we do cool off quickly overnight. Down into the mid 30s in the triangle by 10 o'clock, still clinging to 40 degrees around Fayetteville. We end up in the 20s for most of central North Carolina by early tomorrow morning. Right around 30 degrees for Fayetteville. If you're very lucky, you might stay near freezing, but it's going to be frosty out there to start the day. A little more of a warm up on Friday. The winds will still be strong. It's not going to feel all that warm. Temperatures into the upper 40s by noon, which is warmer than we are now. More locations, including the triangle, topping 50 degrees on Friday, but that's still below normal for the end of February. Let's take a look at future cast because we do have a very slight chance of a sprinkle or a flurry. One tomorrow afternoon and evening, just a few very light blips here on the radar simulation, but most of that is going to evaporate in the very dry air over central North Carolina. The mountains are going to pick up some snow Friday night into early Saturday, and there's a chance we could see a couple of flakes in the air to start the day Saturday. Once again, the air over central North Carolina is very dry, so odds are that most of that is going to evaporate. The cloud cover will scoot off to the east, and we should see plenty of sunshine by Saturday afternoon, but it's going to be cool out there, with temperatures remaining below average all the way through the weekend, which takes us into the first day of March. And then we warm up. Low 60s for high temperatures on Monday. Slight chance of a shower Monday and Tuesday. The best chance of rain next week is going to be Wednesday, primarily late in the day and overnight Wednesday night, and then temperatures back off a little bit after that system goes through, but not a return to the chilly, breezy weather that we have right now. Talking 50s for highs by Friday and Saturday. That's not too bad heading into the first full weekend of March.